Hi everyone, welcome to my first tutorial. Um, this has been something that I have been working on for quite a while now. Uh, we're actually going to go out to dinner, me and my boyfriend, um, with his family. Need this face because I don't have much time. So, um, what I normally start with first is priming my face. So, I use a combination of both of these. This one more so on my T-zone and this one more so on the outer portions of my face. So my primer is done, um, it's a MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, y'all can see it. I just like to grab a brush and what I'll do is just dab it. I know some people use their fingers, it's personal preference, but what I'll do is go ahead and just dab it over my eyelid after I've prepped my face. Go ahead and use the Alamar Cosmetics palette. Um, so I'm just gonna grab that same brush that I was gonna dab it just the tiniest bit tap it off and then go ahead and just place it all over my eyelid space um so uh first I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this color right here it's Coco Taxi so what I like to do is first deposit the color then I do somewhat of a windshield wiper motion and then we go ahead and just kind of bring that color up like this in circular motions I'm gonna go ahead and grab throw here it is such a pretty burnt orange and I'm just gonna deposit it a little bit lower than where I placed Coco Taxi do is do the same thing to the opposite eye so right where my fold is that crease I'm just gonna deposit that color so next color that I'm gonna grab and this I'm gonna grab with a little bit more precise brush I'm gonna grab it with a little bit more precise brush this is from that same collection of the beach cosmetics line and this is number six so I'm going to go ahead and get one Tanamera. Uh, and what I'm going to do with that color is deposit it on the outer V. being true to myself the color that I want to use is Celia um, Celia I believe was inspired by Celia Cruz and that is a beautiful um, deep green yeah. apply that color just into that and then I'm gonna tap it off first so I'm gonna start off in the inner part y'all this color is not me. and we're just going to deposit that color in there I'm gonna keep applying for that So then I'm gonna go back to the other shades that I had. I'm not going to be particularly adding to any of this, but this is so far what we have here. Okay, so I went ahead and applied um, Celia to my opposite eye um, that we hadn't worked on yet. Um, so now what I'm, I want to go ahead and do is deposit Guantanamera, which is that pretty um, burgundy color, into our outer third. And what we want to do is kind of just blend the two colors together to where that harsh line from the shimmer shade um, is not that visible.
So now, as you can see, that line from Celia to Guantanamera is not as harsh versus if I were to show you this. Um, I did kind of do some blending, but it's not fully blended there. So what I want to go ahead and do now is line my eyes and then we can go ahead and apply falsies. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and finished off my eye look. I also applied my lashes and eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. Um, so this is the foundation I'm going to be using to today. This is a L'Oreal True Match, and this is in the shade Suntan W5.5. And I'm just going to be using this Real Techniques buffing brush to blend that into my skin. What a Right after setting my foundation down, what I like to do is to grab a brush or a sponge, whatever I have available. Um, I don't, I do have sponges actually. I have these small concealer sponges from, I think it's Real Techniques. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into my air spun and I'm just going to basically press down my into my smile lines okay so i went ahead and filled in my brows um what i used to fill in my brows was the benefit goof proof pencil um so i went ahead and filled it in and i carved them out okay so i went ahead and finished my face my concealer and i powdered everything down i set it with the cody air spun translucent powder now what i wanted to show you guys is why or the reason that i go ahead and do my brows after my, my foundation after my shadow um why it's kind of some of those last steps that i see everyone do first when i was doing my brows before my foundation and my eyeshadow i was noticing that my brows would kind of lose that pigmentation that i was placing it's down much easier if you were to be working with um, some very pigmented shadows and let's say you went too heavy handed on some of them or you went too high up um, in your brow bone area when you carve out as a final stash easier for you to tone that color down versus if you were to have done your brows i already blended into this harsh line that creates when we carve out you see that i have already blended this out to where it looks seamless what i'm gonna do is basically go from or start from the very outer portion of my eye and that line that you see there that's harsh what i'm going to do is start to blend it finish off my face what i'm gonna use is my hula bronzer by benefit i use this to give my skin that bronzy look like i have really have been in the sun but really god knows that i've been working and i haven't even the only sun i get is from when i travel home 
from work. So we're just going to kind of place that down. Same thing on the opposite side. Just kind of from Benefit. Um, and I really like it because I feel like it works for different skin tones. But whatever is left on that brush, I'll just pinch and just kind of run on the sides of my nose just to give my nose some shape if it looks kind of just flat from adding that foundation. So there is that. I'm going to go ahead and grab some blush. So I went ahead and changed into the outfit that I'm going to be wearing for dinner. Um, and my next step to do is to wear blush and this is a blush that I will be using today It is from Tarte and it's in the shade vibrant. It's this pretty um, Corally shade. It's so suitable for spring, but I really like it when I um, Pair this with the vibrant colors like on my eyeshadows So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that vibrant blush and just place it on the apples of my cheeks and I do like to drag it down kind of blend into my bronzer and the next step for me is to do highlighter so for highlighter I have a mixture of two things that I like to use first one being this Milani highlighter um, and that is in the shade Sun Glow, 03 Sun Glow, and this other one from Maybelline, and this is the Master Chrome Highlighter, I believe, um, and it's in the shade 100 Molten Gold. Um, so both of these paired together um, make a really nice combination. This one is more gold, and I feel like this is a little bit more champagne-y, um, but I like to add both. So I'm not even going to wet these. Um, I normally don't like to. So stunning so I went ahead and added the Maybelline one first um, and to top off if I had to choose between the two I would definitely choose this one um, that is just so pretty and then we're gonna make sure to get our knife like to go in and dip that and then put it on my cupid's bow just grab whatever pencil, eye pencil I have laying around, dip it a little bit in here. All right, <laughs> so I like to grab a little bit and use that to highlight my brow bone and it just gives it such a pretty sheen. Just right there. So same thing here. Back. So the final step for me would be to do my lower lash line and mascara. I use that small fluffy brush we used with uh, Guantanamera for our outer V. I'm going to first go in with Coco Taxi. Um, basically what I'm going to do is go in the same order that I did for my crease and well basically my eyeshadow. On my outer edge, what I'm going to do is grab Guantanamera um, and I'm just literally going to buff it out right here. And same thing on the opposite side, just buff it on the outer portion of the eye and then what I'm going to do is kind of close my eye a little bit and bring that down. So just kind of connecting the two. Same thing on this edge, grab here and just kind of drag it down. I've been trying out this Laura Geller Drama Lash Mascara. I'm going to do this off camera and I will be right back. I already applied a bottom mascara and you can't even tell because I have no lashes on my bottom lash line. Highlight that inner corner and so I'm just going to pop some of that Milani highlighter in there. That makes a difference. You see that? I'm going to go in a little bit more. That same shadow, I'm kind of drag it down here. Do the same thing onto the opposite side. This makes such a difference. Alright guys, that concludes the end of this video. I went ahead and paired up a lip liner with 
ColourPop money moves and this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun creating this look for you um if you have any suggestions make sure to drop them down in the comment section until the next time thank you guys so much bye that same Cody air <laughs> <laughs> oh, that did not just happen that did just happen I just realized I didn't even do my concealer Ooh. I'll be right back <laughs>